when you're getting out there and you're eating street food, quite often it's little cheap cups that people yeah, have cooked down. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And they cook it down, and this was that that big white thing there. That was lard, and Ugh. they boil it in lard, it's, and oh. they load it up. And normally, you know, You're it's great after it. about ten yeah. pints of lager. But you know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, but straight you, away. You've had some amazing shark preserved in urine, urine. Mm. lamb smoked in dung, oh. raw chicken, and this is my favourite, a cow womb. I oh, know, absolutely. All you've traveled. It's called horrimen, all that type of stuff. <laughs> and they take all the offals, all the cheap. It was uh, just after the war. The Koreans mm. had this idea that. You know, we're not being fed, we're going to uh -huh. starve here. So all the stuff that the butcher throws away, we'll all eat. these little cheap cuts, yeah. we will find a way of mm. eating it. And they tenderise it, sometimes they bash it, and it arrives at your table completely raw, and you have to cook <gasps> it on this little barbie. Oh, no. And you see this little thing sizzling and kind of oh. getting smaller and smaller. Mm. And I've got to say, when you pop it in your mouth, the tenderness of it is incredible, because yeah. they found a way to make it well, kind of soft. Well, that's that urine, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> do it. That's the important thing. I, I mean, I love street food, mm. but I think an awful lot of Brits that I speak to are terrified. Yeah. I mean, unless it's a hotel. Actually, you can get more easily poisoned, I think, sometimes in, in a hotel, hotel buffet. Yeah. Than Absolutely. Yeah. So what would be your tips, if you're really frightened of approaching that, if you're in downtown Marrakesh with all that wonderful street food, what would be your tips to feel confident that you're not mm. going to get poisoned? Follow the locals. Right. Really follow the locals. The locals will tell you everything. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's like years ago when my uh, dad used to take us up to sort of the West End. Mm. And we used to go to Chinatown. You went into the restaurant where all the Chinese yes, were in there. Yeah, okay. It's kind of a good, it's a good leveller, isn't it, ladies yeah, and gentlemen? Yeah, yeah. Go, go where the locals yeah, go. And yeah. if you want a bit of pie and mash, yeah. Right, Luke. Yeah. Right, right. 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 Is there anything that you wouldn't eat? Is there anything um, you draw the line at? Uh, well, the, the, there was a couple of things that you raw kind of... Raw chicken. Raw chicken. Well, I, I ended up eating raw chicken. It? it is the most dangerous yeah. thing in the world. There's another thing Salmonella. called puffer fish, what which is, is yes. fugu. Yeah. And it's got this, this, got this little... Th uh, the, actually, you have these um, special chefs that you have to go away and train in order to remove the, oh, really? the, the toxins that yeah. are so mm. lethal. I think it's a thousand times more lethal than cyanide. Oh you have God. to remove it. Why would you it. want to eat it? Well, this is it. <laughs> this is it. And I sat down with this blogger chatting away and like that. He said, oh, I'll give you something to eat, and you're eating away. And he just told me at the end of it, you've just eaten puffer fish. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> and it does, it does, you kind of go to bed at night thinking, am I going to wake up in the morning? Crew <laughs> got food mm. poisoning, mm. but you didn't. No, I didn't. Um, Why I, I, didn't you get food poisoning? Do you, know <laughs> do you know what our producer said today? She went, well, he looks like he's got a strong stomach. <laughs> <laughs> How can you tell that just by looking at someone? <laughs>